Hey guys, what's up? Irish Emerald here, coach of your Wexford Wheelers, and we are back with our week three battle in the Saffron Battle Network. If you guys are psyched for today's battle, please smash like button down below for me as we are up against uh, Leox, coach of the Pittsburgh Polytoads. Uh, he doesn't do YouTube, he stepped in for another coach, and um, so obviously, you know, thank you so much for stepping in. And hopefully, we can pick up the W and bounce back from a horrific loss last week. As I need to get my pen, pen and paper out, boom, got it out, perfect. Um, right, let's jump into our let's jump in, let's get send this invite, let's get this bat on the you know, let's get this bat on the way. Um, why, what's it called? While we're waiting for um, Leox to respond to us, let's go through his team. Um, firstly, I do want to apologize for no team builder this week. Um, I had it recorded, but the problem was my mic wasn't captured. So it was basically 20 minutes of me just talking about absolute, well, like 20 minutes of absolute no noise. So, unfortunately, there's no team builder this week, but he does have, and let me just run through his team. Uh, if I can actually just pull up here, um, let me decide the rules. Um, he does ha have a, um, a Celestelia, which is his Z captain, which was my mega, um, my mega, uh, Scizor. He's got a Gengar, his an Arcanine, an Olimamola, a Smeargub, a Vinilux, a Mew, a Mega Sceptile, a Mammoth Swine, a Comfy, and a Fracture. Quick note, um, like, Mew isn't a Z captain, so we're safe enough, but, like, Mew EMZ is banned in this league, but, uh, you know, Mew, Mew is not a, watch card, he's, he's not a Z captain, so we're safe enough. Um, we're gonna go with, we're gonna go to the Elite Four music, and, Oh, let's let's pick the team. Get the team out here. We have this. This is the team. We have we have Mega Scizor, uh mostly physically defensive, uh, with a bit, of, a small bit of um, physical offense, Adam and nature, uh, regular Soros and said a set, uh, choice Scarf Defog Latios, uh, mixed defensive Myotic, uh, choice Bex physically defensive, uh, Rodham Heat with Trick. Uh, we have a Defiant, Lumberry, um, Tornadus, and last place we have a, a fully physically defensive mill tank with like a little bit of speedy free so he doesn't creep, he doesn't speed creep us. That is the team. Unfortunately, as I said, I forgot the team builder this week. I, well, I had it recorded, it's just, you know, I, I, by the time we had to check it out, the audio was gone, and like, honestly, I checked it out about an hour before this, before I started doing this was because um, I want to remember refresh what the team was as actually let me just jump up ahead to the next screen but I, I wanted to I wanted to like jump ahead and remember what Pokemon I have and why did I pick it um, because it's been it was like it's been, it's been nearly a week since I built this team which just goes to show like how long I've waited to do this battle I'm actually a little bit worried that this might come back to haunt me because um not knowing what my team does it took me a while to kind of re-remember everything but uh, anyways, the Pittsburgh Polytoads. Let's hope. Let's hope that me forgetting what everyone, what my mom's done, because of the break in between getting the, this battle done, doesn't come back to haunt us. He has the Mega Sceptile, which is very fast now. I have, right, let's be honest. The only thing that's fast now is Mega Latios. Oh, not Mega Latios. My Choice Scarf Latios. We have the Mew. We have the Gengar. We have the Celestelia. Which by uh, by the way, um. If Mega Gengar, if Gengar Scarf, that speeds time my um, my choice Scarf Latios. We have a Mammoth Point and we have an Arcanine. I think Charity is our safe first play because I can get a free overheat off on anything, and I'm loving that. Let's go for that. Anyways, good luck, have fun, Leox. Let's get this battle on the way. Hopefully, we can pick up the W this week. Um. By the way, like the other results have gone in the league, it looks like, you know, um, it does. I was always of the opinion you need, you might need to get four one to get the playoffs. But like the way the results have gone this week, it could be that um, three two looks like it's going to be the common. Um, well, it looks like we could have three teams three uh, three and two, at three and two. So that would be fairly interesting as we do see Gengar come out. We do see Gengar come out. Okay. Um, let me see here. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I could go into like, Whitney, but like the the focus blast would be an issue. 
I'm pretty sure we take a hit off this thing. I'm pretty sure we take a hit off this thing, like, relatively easy. Um, up against Gengar. Let me see. Uh, level 50. Yeah, we can we can definitely hit off this thing. I'd be happy enough to go for the overheat turn one. Let's see what this guy is gonna do. As he is just gonna draw. Who is he gonna go into? Flame Dodge. So we do see the Arcanine come out. What is he gonna bring? He's got the flash fire. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. So we should actually take note of that. Hold on. Oh, he's bought the Flash Fire Arcanine. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're just trying to see here. Um, I'd like to get rocks up at some point, but I don't think this is the time nor the place where I can go for a move. Can I can't force switch, can I? No, I was thinking that I, I couldn't. I was thinking if it was immune, that... I was thinking because the immunity, um, they've moved in fire, but it did fire. Um, he could be, this guy could be defensive. Looking at his team, I, it looks, it could be defensive. And as defensive, does he have wild charge for rainbow? I think Whitney's a safe bet here. No, forgive me. I'm going to go into Rainbow because he does have the, um, he does have the Flash Fire. Okay. Let's go into Rainbow on Monatic, who's making her debut this week, as he goes for the Toxic. You see Toxic, you're definitely a bulky set. But I'm happy enough with that, because that gives me the Marvel scale, and I can heal Bella off and have Recover, so it's not, it's not a bad trade-off. Um... So I'm free to go for a Scald here. A free Scald here on anything. Let's see what he goes out into. Just trying to look at, see who can I get a... Who can I get a... Tusks, the Mamoswine. I take, I am triggered by that. But Mamoswine's not going to like this at all. That is a crazy switch. And he's burned. Get in. Get in. Perfect start there on that Mammoth Swine. Getting that Mammoth Swine gone is really good for us because it means that um, it means that once this Mammoth Swine is gone, we can both switch around for ages. I'm going to go into Whitney here and I'm free to get rocks off. That forces the Mew in here at some point to go for the Defog. Uh, let's see. The Mammoth Swine is going to go for the Freeze Dry. Interesting. And we are frozen. That is very annoying. But the uh, mouse point is going to go down to the burn. So what's got my logic did a lot of work there. We, I'm not too pleased with that freeze. I'm not going to lie. Not too pleased that freeze them burns. I'm loving it. But down goes the mouse point. Um, there's going to Gengar here. I wonder. Try to focus blast. I don't know. But because he has. Lost Mammoth Swine so quickly, it does mean that it's gone to ever it's gone to Evergreen the Mega Sceptile. Okay. Okay. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Um I'm gonna go into charge, charge. Nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah no, charge is the play. Charred is the play. So we can come in, we can take two hits minimum, both switch out around, we're fine. And we can get our momentum back as he is going to Mega Evolve. Let's see what this Mega Set Child is going to do. We do need to keep Charred around for this as the level, but we're fine. He is going to go for Leaf Stone, we are going to eat this. We do eat that pretty nicely, it has to be said. He does have the Lightning Rod here. He does have the lightning rod. Um, does he stay in here? 
Now he is minus two. I think he goes back out into the Arcanine, if you ask me. Yeah, since he's minus two, I'm going to go back out to win. I'm going to try and get my stealth rocks up. That's what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do. I need to keep Shard around a little bit longer. Hmm. Well, he is going to withdraw. That's fine. That's okay. Is he going to go into... Yeah, he is going to go into the Arcanine. That's fine. We do, we do read that play. As Shard is going to come back. And we are going to go into Winnie because I do want to get rocks up. Because it looks like he's going to have Arcanine to switch in for the Rotom Heat every turn. So the quicker I can get rocks up and start crippling this Arcanine a little bit, the better. Uh, let me go for the Stealth Fox this turn. Be sound Arcanine and just like thaw me out or something. Well, can I throw out turn one? That'd be nice. He is going to draw. What's he going to go into here? 99 kg waifu, which is the Cecilia. Okay, all right. See, he could autonomize here, and that would be scary, but... Let me scout what he's going to do. I want to go for another Stealth Rocks here. As we're frozen solid again, what does he go for? He does go for the autonomize. His speed is rose and sharp, he became nimble. This freeze is a little bit unfortunate. Um, let me go back out into my my logic because we can eat any hit off this thing. Dragon tail it out. But this is very annoying. This freeze, very annoying. I'm not gonna lie. I should have switched on the autonomous protecting it. Should have switched on it, but it is what it is. Uh, oh my. As it's going to go for Iron Head, we we need that all day. Now I'm sorry, right? If he's going for the same tactic that the last what's called that lost us the last game, I'm having none of it. I'm having absolutely none of it. Um, hey, let me try and tail here. I want to get rid of this thing. Iron Head, that's annoying. Iron Head autonomize. He's got leech, leech Seed. Has he got Leech Seed? Then Flamethrower, maybe? That would be interesting. Oh. Having Whitney frozen is really irking me at the moment because we would have had rocks up by now. He is going to draw. That comes spooky time to Gengar. Okay, I need to. Any free damage off in this game, I'm happy with. As down away goes that thing, what is next? The Mew. That's nice. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. I won't. I won't be too annoyed about that. As I actually can go for free toxic on this Mew. So let me go for that. Because this Mew might want to be setting up rocks up with, on me, but I'm going to go for the Toxic, put this thing on a timer. As he is going to withdraw the Mew, down to spooky time to Gengar. Okay. So it looks like he want, has the, it looks like he has the T on the, on the Gengar. That's what it looks like to me. As we are going to get hurt by right, Toxic damage a little bit more. Um, I think I do think he has the Thunderbolt. I do think he has the Thunderbolt. Um, let me go out to Whitney here. I think he's going to go for the Thunderbolt. The game has gone very balanced lately. As he's gone for the Energy Ball. Okay. We do eat that. Okay, 
Alright, um... I right, kinda wanna body slam now. Let me go for the body slam, actually. If we can die out, that is. He is gonna go for another energy ball. Rolls and solid again. Again. Brilliant! Brilliant, Whitney! Come on, Whitney! You're killing me here, lass. Uh, Charge can eat a. See, is he. How much does that do to. I'm thinking, is he scarred or is he choice? Uh, let me have a look and see here. No, I think he's. I think he's choice scarf, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I, yeah, I think he's choice scarf. He's choice scarf. What does. What does Scizor do to you? Yeah, okay, I think we're going to Crimson here. We go for the knockoff. I think that's a safe enough play. As he is going to go for an Asia Ball, we should eat this. Yeah, that does absolutely nothing. Okay, we're going to Mega Evolve. And we are going to go for the knockoff. He is going to withdraw. Who's going to come out here? The Flame Dodge. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That is fine. So we are going to make a ball. I'm just trying to think now. What's our next play? Having Whitney frozen has been a pain. But we are going to knock off this guy's Rocky Hammer. And he's definitely going to have either Flamethrower or Flare Blitz for me. I think we're going to Eon here. I think we're going to Eon. Yeah, I think yeah, I think that's what we do. We predict we make we make that prediction. I'm just looking through the team. We have to get Celestelli a little bit more weakened. As he is gonna withdraw out into spooky time. That's interesting. Was he predicting the the what's it called? The mid tank switch or the the Malai switch? But I'm have to go down to Eon and he If he's choice, he's going to go for the Shadow Ball here. So I'm going to go into Whitney. Predicting the Shadow Ball. As he is now seeing I'm faster. So he probably does know I'm choice at this point. As he went for Icy Wind. Alright, okay, okay, alright, okay. Now we can still set up rocks or heal up on the... Um, on the gosh darn, um, on the gosh darn Arcanine, and the Mew, and the Mew if he hasn't got any speed investment. He's choice into Icy Wind. Icy Wind, choice into Icy Wind, choice scarfed into Icy Wind, out speed to Tornadoes. Ice Wind does nothing to. No, he might switch out into the Dark Knight. Let me switch out into my Lotic here, I think. This freeze has just killed me. I would have had rocks up by now, it would have been fine. Ice Wind again, that's okay. My Lotic eats that for days. We do lose our speed. get hurt by the poison just a tad um all right let me recover here i think it's a good chance for me to get some health up icy wind not shadow ball i'm very curious about that i still haven't seen what the mew has in the back pocket which is a little bit scary i'm not gonna lie uh, out comes evergreen all right okay we are gonna recover 
I don't think we sack Whitney just yet. Personally. I don't think we do. Um... Let me see here. Is it worth risking the switch into Latios? Is it worth is that worth it? Is it worth it? Uh not particularly. I won't lie. Okay, hold on, hold on. What's more worth me here? Rocks? If he's going to go Leaf Storm, I think he goes Leaf Storm. If I'm being honest, okay. I need to. He goes. I could just sack Whitney here. No more rocks. I think we have to sack Whitney here, which is unfortunate, but we have to sack him. Um. Whitney got done in on her debut. It has to be said. Done in. Well, Whitney, uh, you're a great pivot. I give you that. He does go for Leaf Storm. It would have been fine going out with Eon, but like, it was just wa it was not worth the risk. The risk, I should say. Look, if I can speak English. Oh, well. Okay. Um, I think Free Freeze is one of the most annoying statuses in the game. Uh, Rainbow stuck with Toxic now as well, which is unfortunate. Oh, we just got to watch out for that. Um, I'm going to start here a minute. And I'm going actually no, I'm gonna go out into Eon. Or do we go out into Chard? He's got two electric communities, I'm not liking that. Well I still have nothing for that Celestelia. I have nothing for that Celestelia. Who's Iron Head actually? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me have a look here. No, 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 no. We're not gonna, we're not gonna go set up with um. No, we're not gonna be that silly. We're not gonna be that silly. We're not gonna be setting up with tornadoes just yet. I think we bring our Ion, or Eon, I should say, Eon, and we um go for the Dragon Pulse. Now, do we make the prediction of going for the? So we make the prediction of going for the uh, do we make the prediction that he's gonna go into Celestia or do we go for the Dragon Pulse and try and get the kill? But autonomized Celestia tells me he's kind of a setup one. I think he wants to keep the Sceptile around. I I think he goes down to Arcanine if I'm being honest. And I think. Dragon Pulse is our safest place, so I think we go for that. He is going to draw. Does he go into the Arcanine? Rescue Cap. So he goes down into the Mew. How much is this Dragon Pulse going to do? Does a bit. Does a bit. Does a bit. Okay. I'll be happy to go for another one, I think. Force him out to the and let's see what he's got for him. Come on, let's see. We're going to go for another Dragon Pulse. Is he going to go for Roost? Top boy. Yeah, he does. He does. He does. That's okay. Alright, okay. Alright. Um, we know what the crack is with that. Um... I'm gonna go into Rainbow. I could go for a Toxic Boy, it would probably switch. I hold on. I'd say. We go into Chard. And we can get. We could go for a Trick. It's gonna go Ice Beam, we eat that. Eat that, we eat that very, very nicely. Um, let 
Let me go full switch. I think he doesn't go into Sceptile. Let me go for the full switch. It's going to withdraw. What is it going to? Spooky time. Do you live this, actually? I don't think he live. I think he might live it, boy. Yeah, he's, he's... He's down to his last, so he is. So I'd be free to go into Crimson here and go for a bullet punch. Which I'm very, very happy to do. He... Does he stay? No, we go for we go for bullet punch. We be safe. He probably bring the Arcanine again. Well, well, we'd be all right with that. He probably bring the Arcanine again. We could bring in the Milotic. We can go for the Scald. It doesn't look like he has the um, Wild Charge. And get the Gengar gone. We get the Gengar gone. That means that only the Mega Sceptile will outspeed Tornado. So we just need to kind of get rid of the Cell Study, and we will be fine. We will be just fine. Well, unfortunately, we can't force him into Defog. As we are just going to go for the Bullet Punch and wreck this uh, Gengar. As he was looking for the over prediction there. He does get the cursed, cursed Body on us, which is unfortunate. But the Gengar is gone. Perfect. Right, that's another one. Two down, four to go. Out comes the Arcanite. Lame Doge. Alright, okay, alright, okay, okay. So that Tornadus in the back, which I'm very happy about. Very, very happy about. Just trying to see the best way around this. This view is a problem, child. We have to keep wearing down the Mew, I think. The Sceptile, scary. I think we bring out the Malak. I think he's wanting to go for the some fire type attack here just to put pressure on us again. He would he would out better us if he was faster. As he is going to go for the flare bits. We should eat that. Very nicely actually. And we do. And he's gonna get a little bit more chip damage. Now he won't stay in here. He probably will go into the Celestelia, actually. He will probably go into the Celestelia. Let me go for Skull. I want to. I want to. I kind of want to see. And if we do get the burn on Celestelia, that would be nice. But I think he will go into Celestelia. It goes down to Evergreen. Okay. As we, have, we will go for the Scald here. Can we get a burn? Not quite. How much does a Leaf Storm... No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, don't, be, don't be doing silly things like that now, Irish, before we go anywhere. We need Rainbow Around for the Arcanine. He's going to go Leaf Storm here. I think we're going to Eon. We make that play. Yeah, I think we're going to Eon. We make that play. I think he does go Leaf Storm here. I think he. Let's see. What does he go for? Goes for Giga Drain. That's fine. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, we're going to go for a Dragon Pulse here. Because if he brings... I think he's trying to keep that Cell Steady in the back to kind of sweep us at the end. Not going to happen. If we just keep putting pressure on him... He can't bring the Mew because we will two-shot the Mew. So I think he... And he uh, so I think he will bring the Arcanine. The Arcanine a little bit more weaker on the special side. Will not be able to take, take two shots. Rescue Cat's going to come in. We sh I think we two-shot this thing. Come on, please be a two shot. You are two you're a two shot. You're a two shot. We're going for another Dragon Balls. Come on. Come on. Prove me right here now. Down goes the Mew! Brilliant stuff. Perfect. Get in. Get in. 
This match was a bit more of a slower grind than I would have liked, but we're turning it around slowly. In comes the Celestelia. Okay, in comes the Celestelia. Hmm, 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 so Um, I think we're going to charge, charge could take a hit here. The question will be, do we go for the overheat or do we go for the full switch? Or the Thunderbolt, I should say. As he is going to go for the Autonomize again. Alright, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Now, I could trick here. I could trick here. Let me see, alright. I think he keeps Mega Sceptile, right? So if that is the case, we're going to go Thunderbolt. Because I do think he keeps Mega Sceptile. I think he's Mega Sceptile in the back. He knows he's faster than my whole team. And he wants to preserve it. So I'm going to go Thunderbolt. He went Stone Edge. And he's landed it. Out. That's nasty. Okay. And his Beast Boost has risen his attack. Okay. We're going to go into Rainbow and we are going to Dragon Tail this thing out of here. Right, that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. Okay, fair enough. Risky run the Stone Edge like that because has if he misses, he's dead. But fair enough. We're going to go for the Dragon Tail. Here comes the same move. I'm oh, curious what this is now. I don't know if he breaks through here or not now. Continental Crush. Does he break through my logic here? It'd be interesting. We have the Marvel scale. He does not. He does not. Oh, I gotta love Mar you gotta love Marvel scale, my logic. As outcomes evergreen. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, alright, okay. Getting down to the nitty gritty of it now, so we are. He's probably gonna go. Hmm. Does he go Giga Drain or does he go Leaf Storm? Or does he go Dragon Pulse to predict? These are good questions now. He's in a. In a good spot, we need to kind of figure out what he wants to do here. Yeah, I th <sighs> see. Malachi does not speed the rest of his team, but it does face a Celestelia. Don't know. Can we recover on the Arcanine? Yeah, I'm thinking if I could bring Crimson in here. I'm thinking I could bring Crimson in here. I'm looking at the team. Crimson doesn't get through the rest of his team. I think we bring Crimson in here. And we go for a bullet punch. That's what I think we do. As he is going to go Dragon Pulse. Nice, okay. We do eat that. Now he probably has the... The Pin Power Fire. But we are just going to go for the Bullet Punch. I want to get some damage off on this thing. And he is going to go Hidden Power Fire, and that will pick that will pick us off. Down we go. Now, I believe we go out into Eon. We go out into Eon. And if memory serves me correctly, at this range, Psychic will kill. Let me go for the Psychic. As he's going to draw, he won't go into Celestelia, I feel like. He does go into Celestelia, okay. And we are going to land a Psychic here. 
Get a little bit of damage off. A little bit, but not much. Um, does have the stone edge, you see? That is a big problem. Let me go into Rainbow. I think we kind of sack Rainbow at this point. You see, it probably has Roost. Probably has Autonomous Iron Head Stone Age Roost. Ah, oh, man, this is not going to be fun. Let's see. Oh, we will go for the autonomous here. Stone Edge. Land, please. Thank you. Here comes the beast boost. Tax that rose. We're gonna go into ER. We have to go for the Thunderbolt here. Or do we? Or do we? Yeah, no, we do, we do. We go for the Thunderbolt. See, we're down to the very to the point in the match where he's kind of got me in a good spot. He's turned it around nicely. Whew. Let's hope for the best. Yes! Come on, finish him! Get him, my son! Down goes the Celestelia. Didn't predict that one. Perfect. Out comes Evergreen. Perfect. Alright, okay. We might have turned it around there at the very end. Um, we're going to go into Tornadus. Bring back on. Bring back in Eon. Eon can hit Dragon Post three times. That should pick up the W. As he is going to go Dragon Pulse, that is fine. Uh, he will pick up the kill there. Critical hit. On sorry, 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 Tornado. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, right, we're going to back out with Eon. <sighs> Come on, Eon. You can do this for me, boy. You can do this for me, my boy. You got this. You got this all day. He is good. Right. I don't know why he does that, but okay. I don't. I don't know why. Like sure. Like why? Because like, he, like, like the uh, Arcanine takes two hits. You know, I don't. I don't. He could. He could hit E speed on me twice. If he sacked the Septile, I don't get that play at all. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Down goes the Arcanine. Get in. That just brings uh, the Mega Sceptile, who has no priority. Woo -hoo -hoo! We may have just turned us around at the end, lads. We may have just turned us around at the end. I was a little bit worried coming in because we hadn't played in a while. And I hadn't team built in a while. What ha it's been a while since I team felt. But we managed to sneak in that one out at the very, very end. Down goes the Mega Sceptile. Get in. Your way Lords bounce back mightily Whoo! close game close game we managed to pick up the 1-0 GG uh, Leox great game my man great game on a um, couple of really interesting, interesting stuff we managed to play around it the choice scarf um, on the Latios uh, was a great call it's unfortunate that um, we didn't get to see um, the choice spec scar uh, chart do a little bit more work um, and as well I think for me, I thought um, the having Whitney frozen and not being able to get rocks up was uh, was kind of it made life a little bit more tougher for us. Um, if we had rocks up, Steady comes in twice, loses 50% HP. Then Psychic from Gladios is a two shot, and we're not forced we're not forced to kind of switch in. Uh, what got in, in the later game, we're not forced to do a switch and rely on that a little bit more. So I think if Whitney can get the rocks up. It also forces the Mew in a little bit more and it gives us a bit more pressure. Um, with the, so, you know, we were kind of... Had we not been frozen, 
we would have seen Winnie get the rocks up and we would have been able to kind of do a little bit more. Tornadus would have been able to get that defiant kind of shenanigans up and going. I was running defiant bulk up. Um, I know you guys didn't see it from the team builder, but I was running defiant bulk up for the sole reason that we can come in on a um, defog, go for bulk up the Lumberry with Paul because we carry Lumberry and then we have a plus three uh, acrobatics, which is base 110 power after Lumberry is done. So that was kind of that was kind of the idea behind it. Um, but yeah, no, I've you know, I think we managed to pull it out. I would have been a bit salty had we lost because of the freeze, and I would have known that we would have had rocks up and they could have turned the tide of the game a little bit. But we did manage to kind of pull it out out the hat at the very end. Um, only one differential, but I honestly I just wanted a W on the board after what happened to me last week um, to get back to winning ways. We are now two and one. You're going to next week. Um, Hopefully to pick up uh, another W up against a very scary team in uh, Roshan, coach of the, oh I can't remember, coach of the, oh, uh, I think it's the Detroit Solgaleos, I think, but a scary team, he's got Mega Mini Champ, so that, that, fright, that always frightens me in league format. But yeah, I will wrap it up here today, enough of my rambling, um, if you guys enjoyed today's battle, click the like button down below for me, if you guys got any, any thoughts on the battle, be a good battle, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Um, let me know what you thought about the Whitney Freeze. Do you think that had a big impact on the game? For me, I thought it did. I, it didn't give me as much offensive pressure as I normally like to have in these kind of battles. Um, and last minute, if you want to see more SBN action coming away on this channel or more content in general, smash that subscribe button down below for me. On that note, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.